This has got the fix-it guy with an easy repair for a top-loading washing machine that's leaking. This is on the Whirlpool Series 70. Uh, and this has just a little bit of a leak that occurs at the bottom front. And this is almost always due to a faulty water pump. And the water pumps are actually really easy to put a new one in. We got it unplugged. We pulled it away from the wall by about maybe three feet. And I'm going to lean it back so it's about 45 degrees back. I got to make sure it's stable so it's not going to fall. So I'm going to lean it back until it's nice and stable. And then I'll just go underneath and I'm going to unclip the water pump and it lives right here in the front of the motor and there's just two little uh, spring clips that hold it on and they're really easy to take off you can even use your fingers or a standard head screwdriver to pry them off I'm just double checking with the flashlight to make sure that that's the source of the water but I can tell there's a little dribble at the bottom of it and these are very common to fail probably at about the eight year mark they start to have trouble where the seal leaks so I'm popping off the little spring clips I'm pulling off the water pump and then I'm just going to disconnect the two lines that come in. I'm noticing that there's a little trail of um, sediment that's coming down so this just verifies that that's where the water was coming from. And I'll unclip the hoses just with a pair of pliers. Here's the uh, part number on the water pump and this is for most of the Whirlpool direct drive washing machines. So I'm going to use a pair of pliers to squeeze in on these on these uh, hose clamps and then I'll twist and pull back. And there'll be some water that'll come out, so you want to make sure you have a little towel down there. You're going to get a couple cups of water coming out. Leaning it back at 45 degrees does help a little bit to lessen the amount of water that'll come out. There we go. So I got the bottom one off. This is the this is the hose that takes the water and brings it out away from the machine. And then the hose above is the one that takes it from the tub to the pump. Sometimes you can get things caught in this upper hose too, and, and your washing machine will not drain water. And oftentimes there's like a sock or something gets pulled in. So by removing this hose clamp and removing this upper hose, you can pull out the obstruction. In this case though, we're going to actually remove and replace the pump because the pump seal is not repairable. So we got the old one off. Here's a new one. We'll go ahead and just push the hose back on. You want to push it in as far as it'll go. There's a little plastic tab on the pump that'll keep the hose from going any further. So go all the way to that plastic tab and then we use the pliers to get that spring clamp up on there so that that hose can't come off. You can also take these hoses off while the pump is still connected to the machine. In some ways it's easier because it's more stable. I like to do it this way because I can get to those clamps a little bit easier. So I'm putting the bottom hose on. That's the one that takes again the water from the pump out away from the machine. And now I'll get the pump back on by putting it back onto the motor shaft and <laughs> kind of wiggle it around until it seats back down on the motor shaft. And it has four plastic legs on it, like table legs, and they have to sit all the way down against the motor. And then I'll take the upper mm -hmm. spring clamp and I'll pull it back over the top of the water pump I'll do the same here at the bottom. So you can see how it works. You just push it and lift a little bit. It'll clip in. And now the pump's on there. It's nice and tight. We're just going to put this other hose clamp up on the lower tube, and then we're done. It's a really fast repair. And the part's not very expensive. These are actually really good machines. They last a long time. I've seen these go 25 years. So they're well worth repairing, and the parts are usually pretty cheap. So we're just making sure that those two hose clamps are on there tight. And then we'll 
gently lower the machine back down to where it's flat, push it back against the wall, and we'll get the, its drain pipe put back into the stand pipe behind the machine, plug it in, and take it for a test drive. There's a little sediment, you can see it better. It's forensic evidence that that seal had gone bad. So just testing it out, filling it, and draining it, and we don't get any leaks, so that did the trick. Hope this has been helpful to you, and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. Thanks for watching.